to our special segment of Rap Sheet Hollywood where we always give you the livest commentary and the freshest news story in hip hop and Hollywood. Today, we have our special guest, Sister Lucille Watkins. Good evening. Oh, is, what is it, evening? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's evening. Good evening. Well, well how, how are you doing today, Sister? God is good. Okay, great, great, great. Well, you know, we're gonna have you talk about some of our hot hip hop topics. Are you are you up for that? Sure, why not? Okay, okay. you've been taking your blood pressure medicine? Yes, I have. Oh, okay, I have. good, good, good. I wanna make sure. All right, so we wanna get your thoughts on some of the hottest hip hop topics today. Uh, let's talk about Migos. I know you heard about these youngsters. Uh, Migos, the producing group, they got an album out of uh, Atlanta. They were recently arrested on- What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Felony drug charges and also uh, armed weapons. These people sign these ignorant buffoons on purpose to put them in jail. They, they don't want to glorify real hip hop. They want to glorify these, these ignorant people, guns and ignorance. Yeah, see, I know, sister, uh, you really know hip hop. Why? See, a lot of people don't really think that you know hip hop like you do. You do. Migos, Gucci Man, who else? Yeah, it seems like the southern rappers is getting into a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah. Jeezy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Well, let's get your thoughts about this. Sister Lucille, I know you're a God-fearing woman. Kylie Jenner goes to Coachella with Tiger, and she kind of has a lot of her derriere parts hanging out. What do you think of Listen, that? this generation is messed up. These women showing their ass. Excuse me, I have to Okay, be careful, be careful. This Kardashian movement is just setting all these women to show their asses. And can I say that on television? You you can't say that. It's the devil. Actually, Hollywood. It's the devil. I, I don't understand this culture. The skinny jeans the men wear, the women with their butt cheeks out, Migos going to jail. I can't take it anymore. Yeah, yeah, well, don't get too worked up, you know, sister. We, we need you around for future Fine. segments. Fine, just, just these children, man. They need Jesus. Well, thank you. Maybe you can bring a little, little Jesus into our set today. Uh, our next story that we've been uh, talking about here, and I want to get your thoughts on this, so you can yeah. tell us, uh, Chris Brown. You know the young man, Chris Brown. He's had some troubles yes. in the past. Yes, he did. Um, he recently put out pictures of his daughter, yes. which was made out of wedlock, and yes. out of his current relationship, which is no longer existing, but with uh, Karuchi, he put that out. What, what are your thoughts? It, I know you got some thoughts. He's wrong, on this. and he committed a sin, but he's stepping up. He's becoming a man. Having a daughter is gonna teach him to never put his hands on another woman and never cheat on a woman, because it's gonna happen to his daughter. Sister Lucille, I'm actually kind of surprised that you uh, you took that you know reaffirming position God about forgives, Chris. God forgives. I forgive Chris Brown. You know, I love Chris Brown. Chris, man, keep doing your thing, bro. Good for you. You coming back and you're doing a lot of good things. Yes. And, you know, you are out there about your child and you're yes. doing the right thing as a father. Yes. You know? He will so. be a good father. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I don't know if you're a fan, but I'm a big fan of Game of Thrones. If you haven't seen this HBO show, but they're, they're now on, I think, the fifth season. And it's yeah. just, it's excellent. You know, this is the show with the Lannisters, and it's really about a, 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 a Game of Thrones where you're trying to get to the top and they're dealing yeah. with all of the your bureaucracy that takes place in this medieval yeah. time. Uh, have you, what are your thoughts on that? You know, this is a new oh. season, it's getting a big buzz. Uh, I hate to that? be the bearer of bad news, but why don't they have any Negroes? Like, this is not the 50s. This is not back in my day. We need more people of, us, of our color to shine. They don't want to see too many of us shine. But they want to see people like Migos in jail. We don't really call ourselves Negroes anymore, Sister Lucille. But, yeah, I do get your point. I get your point. Yeah. Now we're really looking for some, correct, yeah, we're Negroes. some, some African Americans. We want some That's more African Americans it. to get on there. But Game of Thrones, I love what you're doing. Get a little bit more of uh, this on the show. Yeah, 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 thank you. Um, next story, this is really big. It's been hitting the web really hard. It's viral now. The video of R Rihanna uh, supposedly sniffing coke. I noticed you're doing a, a lot of uh, this. Are you okay? You Hanging out with people like before Chris Brown had a daughter. Uh -huh. Maybe he could have influenced her because that girl is not in her right mind half the time. Yeah. She's talented and she's beautiful, but just that little thing in her eye, that little, it's the little thing that they have. She had that that night. 
Well, I don't know. Did you see the video? Yes, I it did. looked a little sketchy. Yes, I mean, I it did. was a lot of this and you know, you know. I could be wrong though. God forgive me if I'm wrong. She said she was just rolling a blunt and it was just normal uh medicinal that I can handle. marijuana. That I can handle, but I was hoping that that's the truth. Okay, okay. Now when you say you can handle the medicinal marijuana, yes. what what do you mean exactly? I know 420, this this big holiday I, is coming I up for all the medicinal. I am a connoisseur for medicinal purposes. Medicinal, okay, yes. okay, okay. Snoop Dogg and Wiz Khalifa, if you hear me right now, I need some more medication. I'm, I'm already, my blood pressure is already calm high. Down, just calm down, calm down, Lucille, calm down. Talking about these ignorant people in jail. Sister Lucille, I don't want you to get too worked up. You right. know, you know, you might have to go to that medicine a little sooner right. than you, you need to. So yes. just, you know, calm down. Last story that we want to talk about and get yes. your expertise on. Yes. Uh, Little Wayne. Little Wayne uh, apparently threatened a bus driver. His bus driver is suing now yes. because Little Wayne put a gun to him and he said he wanted to go directly to his hotel. Wow. He didn't want him to stop for gas. What, what do you think about I, this? I, if he just, 420 is tomorrow. If he celebrated 420 the day before, that would not have happened. He needs to calm his little soul down. Yeah, yeah, maybe if he... This is the, the fruity thug guy, the fruit thug. Young thug, Is he thug. having that mad that he has to pull a gun on everybody? No, I don't know. Lil Wayne, man, calm down a little bit, bro. Calm down. I mean, really, it doesn't it doesn't need to be that serious. Oh, just, 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 just pathetic. That's what it is right here, Rap She Hollywood. We had our special guest today, Sister Lucille Watkins yes. in the building. She gave us praises. She gave us a little bit of affirmations. And we thank you. For, you okay? Yeah. This is hot. What's, it's what's going? Okay. Going. All it's right. Hot. All right. So that's what it is, Rap She Hollywood. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned. We got more for you on Rap She Rap Hollywood. Hollywood. Boop Diesel. <laughs>